back solving is like your favorite shirt. You know, the one that goes with almost everything. You can even use it with word problems when you aren't given an equation. Anytime you're asked to find a specific variable, you can back solve. Let's look at an example from the ACT. Here we've got a question about Madison's cell phone bill, which is slightly higher than her mom would like. Madison's cell phone service contract requires her to pay $45 a month for basic service in addition to 15 cents for each text message. If Madison's bill is $61.50, how many text messages did Madison send? A is 10, B is 110, C is 410, D is 510, and E is 710. First, we'll underline the facts. Then we'll circle the keywords. How many text messages did Madison send? And label the answer choices, which represent the number of texts Madison sent. This question has verbally given us a few equations and then has asked us for the value of one of the variables in these equations. So we know we can back solve. Now let's identify the number we're trying to get. If we plug in the right answer choice, we should get that Madison's bill was $61.50. That's our target number. What else do we know? We're told that customers pay a base rate of $45 and an additional 15 cents per text. If the bill equals the flat rate plus the cost of text, we can plug in $45 plus 15 cents per text. We're ready to back solve. Remember, our next step is to start with the middle choice, answer C, and plug in the values we're given in the answer choices. C says that our customer sends 410 texts. If Madison paid 15 cents per text, we would say that she paid 410 times 15 cents, or $61.50 for the text messages. That sounds like it matches, right? Not so fast. Remember, she has to pay a flat rate of $45 per month as well. So total, she actually pays $61.50 plus $45, or $106.50. That's way too big. So let's move on to answer choice B, which says that Madison sent 110 text messages. If she did, then she would pay 110 times 15 cents, or $16.50 for those texts. If we add in our flat rate of $45, we get that her bill is $45 plus $16.50, or $61.50. Since this matches our target bill of $61.50, we can circle answer choice B. All in all, Madison's got a pretty cheap phone bill. I need to switch to her provider. Anyway, now that you know how to back solve an algebraic word problem, you're on your way to acing the ACT.